She and now husband David Pelty made headlines and became the world's darlings after the figure skating scandal at the 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City. Hi, I'm Christine on WatchMojo.com. Today we're going to talk to Olympic gold medalist Jamie Sale. As an athlete, what drives you? Um, when I was competing, I would say what drove me was perfection. I always wanted to be great at what I did and I wanted to be the best. I wanted to see improvement all the time and I wanted to keep getting better. It was all about having fun for me. I was never uh, a competitor that was very serious and intense when I was training. David's a little bit more like that and I'm more of the person that likes to have fun and smile and laugh along the way. The journey for me was so exciting, it was so thrilling and uh, and, and adventurous. Like I was always challenged and I was always running into obstacles which I took on as an opportunity to do something with it instead of oh no this is dragging me down. After the scandal in Salt Lake City, figure skating took a hit. Do you think it's lost its prestige since then? Do you think there's more work to be done in order for figure skating to get back to where it used to be? After Salt Lake it was a little bit of um, a difficult time for people to trust in our sport but after this Olympics I think the results were exactly what they should have been on those nights. We thought it was judged very fairly and very honestly and the results were correct. In the men's figure skating there's the controversy of quad or no quad. Uh, what's your opinion on that? Yes you always want to be improving in your sport and taking your sport to a different level but I don't think it is the be-all and end-all. I really don't like it when people focus on one thing because skating has more depth than that. There's so many other components that go into making a great program and that's why Evan Lysacek won. He can do a quad but he didn't win because he had a quad. He won because he's got great skating basics and technique and he's got great spins, great footwork, great transitions. Well, I disagree with that it that you're not a man without a quad. I disagree. There was also a lot of talk about the costumes that the men were wearing. Um, what's that all about? Yeah it's questionable in a lot of a lot of disciplines that the costumes can be questionable at times but I still would really appreciate the skaters focusing on this being a sport because I think like Johnny Weir for example I think he's more concerned about making it a show for himself instead of focusing on being an athlete in figure skating and it's it's unfortunate because a lot of people give men's figure skating a bad name because of not necessarily just him but if there's one person or there's two people that are acting a certain way then it doesn't look good but I mean, it's still a very athletic sport. Also, in pairs figure skating and ice dancing, the Russians did not fare very well. What's going on with the Russians? Since um, the former Soviet Union has split up, it seems like it's been a gradual decline, and, and I think they even brought Plushenko back because they didn't have anybody in the men's event either. So Sochi's coming up in four years, and you're probably going to see a lot of skaters coming up again, so maybe it's just a cycle. At these Olympics, we've also seen the rise of Asia in figure skating. They did very well in a lot of the different events. They get one skater that's doing well and then all of a sudden they start inspiring a lot of other young skaters because these are countries that haven't had that kind of uh, exposure before so now you're going to start to see lots of them which is ooh, it's scary for the rest of us because they're really good. <laughs>